everybody, and this is Daisy, the Extreme Fairy Gamer, and welcome back to Dragon Quest Tact. So we last left off, still hunting for parts for Cogsgrove. And Melanie and Rochester are planning something very devious. And during this deviousness, we have a Valentine's Day special going on. Let me show you one of the special characters you can get. And then there's also this lovely lady and Claude. But anyway, we're not here to look at the characters. We're on chapter 13, Burning Bonds. Jelly in the book slime. Oh, hang on. Mm. That's my fault. Continue. <laughs> Here you are, Gubriel. Your pinched purse and its contents return safe and sound. Good heavens! It is all in there, down to the very last coin. You have my deepest gratitude. Believe me, I shall find some way to return the favor in good time. It wasn't any bother, really. Who keeps counting the fa of favors, anyway? Except for me, I love favors. Be seeing you, Gabriel. It's back to collecting parts for the mayor for us. We still haven't finished searching through that hideout where the thieves lurked. Let's go and check it out. Guys, go!
know this is overkill, but I like this move so much. I had high hopes we'd find a treasure trove of parts in the thieves' hideout, but now I just feel cheated. There isn't a nut or bolt lying around that we could use. Still, nice place though. Spacious, good airflow, good highway links to nearby towns. Perfect for a secret base. It's even got a kitchen. Why, it's almost like someone used to live here long ago. Hmm? Books! Goodles of books! Was someone using this place as a book repository? Repository? Hmm? Excuse me while I dig and do a bit of reading. Of course, the scholarly slime wants to look through the scholarly books. Episode 2, An Old Tale. <laughs> my, my, there's just stacks and stacks of fascinating tomes here. Too bad they're in such disrepair, they're hardly legible. Many of them speak of past events. And look here, something, something gathered, something, something, the five fiends? If only this book were in better condition. Say, Jelly, why does the monster pictured in this book look familiar to me? Hey, you're right, it does. Where have we seen this monster before? I know, the statue in the cave. It looks just like the statue we found in the cave. So that would mean the statue was made in likeness of one of the so-called five fiends? You may just be right, Lindsay. What are the five fiends anyway? Maybe the mayor might know. More reasons to get Mr. Mayor back on his feet. Being ancient as he is, he probably has more information than a whole library of books.
distant Tarzan. will work. Not gonna beat me down. Episode 3 of Chapter 13 Where are the parts? Probably up a creek without a paddle. <sighs> no goody. So four, Gabriel repays the thing.
course. Of course, it's going to be delicious. Alright, you go down back to your pit. We're finally making progress with our part search. We could still do with just a few more parts, though. Greetings, everyone. I am glad to see you are all looking well. Oh, hello, Gabrielle. What brings you our way? I understand you are searching for parts. I recently heard a guru of a trove of ancient parts inside a volcano, and I thought you should know. Really? Then we'd better pay it a visit, Majelli. Many are the dangers a volcano... Uh, a volcano. volcano possesses two monster adventures. You will need a healer if you wish to survive them all. And how much will it cost us? Nothing at all, of course. Did I not say I would return the favor? Come, let us be gooing now. Burning Thoughts, episode 5. <laughs> Gooey, it's hot enough to cook a slime in here. You said it, I think I'm turning into a steamy Sanguni. My powers are of little use in staving off the symptoms of intense heat. We should all mind our health in here. And all sorts of hostile monsters can attack us from any angle in here, so we better be careful or... Hey, who said you could come blazing into our house? There's only one thing for it. Meet fire with fire. Ah, Daisy, watch out! Owie, hot, hot! Mentony, you jumped in front of Daisy? I want Daisy to learn more about themselves, and they can't very well do that if they're hurt, can they? So I'll make... Meanies who hurt Daisy pay. Now that's very sweet. All of these monsters are weak to crack elements for tax. Use that to your advantage. I don't have any crack <laughs> type, otherwise known as ice. I don't have any ice type attacks. Oh, 
I can put an ice type attack on characters. I spell a brass or whatever to any character. How to court danger. Mid heel. You should count yourself lucky to have Gubriel going to this much trouble to your account on your account. And for free, I might add. Hehe. <laughs> Thanks a bunch, Gubriel. I'm feeling better already. I'm just glad you weren't burnt to a crisp mini. Look at you locked in your burning bonds of friendship. I'm just burning with envy. Please, Mr. Dancing Flame, I think you've fired up enough already. You folks are on fire. It's like a moth drawn to a flame. That sells it. I'm joining you. You got burned on account of me, so it's the least I could do. I'll be your guide through the volcano. Come on, follow my flame. At least you weren't the one that knocked out my Emperor Slime. Okay, taking the heat. Oh, this might get a bit tricky. I can't tell whether I'm boiling or roasting. Poor Mindy, we've got it bad, but you've got all the fluffy fur to deal with. Just looking at you is sweltering. You do look nice and cool, Majelli. Let me snuggle up with you. Ah! Hot! Hot! Hmm. 
Yes, I could have told you if you'd ask, but my slime has been absorbing all the heat. Ah, a liquid mouse slime. That's got to be cool to the touch. I'm going to grab it and cool off. Uh, yeah. Metal also absorbs a lot. No, I'm not entirely sure about liquid metal form. But being this hot, I would imagine that it would hurt a bit. Push comes to shove, you're gonna get it. Finally. 
Bye bye, go to fire spirit. Hot! Hot! Wow, we that liquid metal slime is piping hot. But of course, it is made of metal. Then why didn't you stop me? For one, I strongly doubt I could have had I even tried. Here, I will cast heal on you. Daisy, Majolian, I understand that you have been journeying with Midgeny for some time now. I must applaud your fortitude, for no price would be enough to persuade me to such ends for even a day. <laughs> She's a handful, all right, but she has her moments. Daisy agrees, don't you? See, it's like Daisy said. She's not all, n not all naughty singing-y. What's everybody whispering about? We've got to keep moving. <laughs> Yeah, and you don't want to be on her bad side. <laughs> like my sister. <laughs> Alrighty. Seven. Mind the Heat, Part 1. Oh, this will be easy. Depending on how far away this dude is. Easy there. Watch yourselves. Sometimes lava splurts out the volcano floor. Eep! I got my first cinched again. What are you lot doing here anyway? Haven't you ever heard the phrase, if you don't take, if you can't take the heat, get out of the volcano? We're here for Mr. Mayor. He's broken down, and we're going to fix him up. Our mayor is an old killing machine, and we are out looking for old parts we could use to repair him. All this for your town, Mayor? going to this much trouble for another monster. It makes me feel warm inside. Squelching hot. Fur on fire. One never knows the fascinating friends one might meet while journeying on the road. I wish I knew your secret of staying cool, Gabriel. Yeah, and there's two of them. Fun. <laughs> Royal reptiles are highly dangerous. Remember, you don't have to fight them if you don't want to. Oh, a reptile. Yeah, I might fight him later. Half resistant to whoosh. Partly doesn't make sense, and partly does. <laughs> it's 
strong gust of wind can blow a fire out. But a light enough wind can bring a fire to an uproar. Mind the Heat Part 2 Sure, we'll find heaps of old scrap up ahead. Okie dokie, then it's time to charge. What, what's happening? That would be earth shaking. What was, was that an earthquake? Nope, not quite. It's actually a... Oh, you're going to cut off right there, huh? Is it gonna be a dragon or something? That 
hope the next one's definitely gonna be a boss. Oh, a night for clubbing. Oh, it's close. It's a night clubber. It looks like some sort of drain. Clubber. That's some proper heated training going on there. Hey, the Adsing Flame. Yeah, this is the perfect spot for it. Thanks for showing it to me. So all that shaking was this night clubber working out? Speak up, slime. If you're here to train, just say so. Actually, we're looking for parts we could use for our mechanical repairs. Parts, you say? If it's a club you're looking to repair, then I got more than enough to share. But a machine? Oh, looky! Those parts lying over there look like they might do the job. You don't mind if we take some of these with us, do you? Why not? All you have to do is beat me in a fight. You look tough enough. I'd like to try my club out on you. Win, and you're welcome to whatever you want. So who's up for a clubbing? I'm going to say, not me. <laughs> mm, dang, he's got three treasure chests. Ultra Stomp is a wide-reaching split attack. Split your forces so that they don't all get hit at once. Ah, but if you split your forces, you're gonna have a slightly harder time healing. Especially if you're using multi heal in person. It's mean to stop.
basic attack to knock him out. I never thought I'd find anyone half as strong as me. Looks like I've got a ways to go for my training. But I'm a clubber of my word. Take anything, everything you like. Hip, hippie, huzzay! What a blazing bow that was. It's enough to make me burst into more flames with envy. Goodness, hot, hot! This heat is going to kill us if we stick around any longer. I want to go home! Ah, that's why nobody really lives in a volcano except probably lava monsters. And thick-hided monsters. A new area discovered. Well, that's all the time I have for this video. Thank you everybody so much for watching. And if you enjoy, please leave a like, subscribe to my channel, and share this video with a friend. Thank you and have a nice day!